Hakika wewe ni Mungu wa kipekee Bwana. Oh, siboka bila la yote ni wewe tunaimini jioni ya leo. Tunakuwa Mungu maana umekuruma maisha ni mwetu. Umekuruma maisha ni mwetu tumeusikia mkurumo. Tukaona matendo yako makuu kwetu tuna kila sababu ya kukuinua. Uliyetuepusha na maovu na mauti Bwana tunakuinua. Uliyetufanya tukasiwa na mbele zako tunakuinua Bwana. Uliyetufanya mabaki siku ya leo tunakuinua Jehovah. Usiyeshindwa na lolote ni wewe tunakuinua Bwana. Usiyebadilika na matia ni wewe tunainua Jehovah. Tushikilia kwa mkono wako wa wokovu wa kuba bwana ni wewe tunainua jioni ya leo ni wewe tunaabudu jioni ya leo ni wewe tunatukuza jioni ya leo tunasema kuna kama wewe Jehova kulia tushindani ya bwana ni wewe tunainua siku ya leo tunakuinulia sifa zetu bwana na kuinulia shukrani zetu Jehova tuletana kwa kamana ni zako na stahili zote Jehova we bless you wa kieda wa mbasta bwana umekuwa mwaminifu kwetu umetupa na tumaini mara tena Jehova we bless you our mighty god we worship you king of zara we bless you redeemer Ora mazikata Ora boria mazikata Ora boria mazakata Ora mazikata We bless you Ricotti mazikata Abdul this my mighty god it's all about you It's all about your work in the dawabaster mazakata We thank you our father for the entire church Will be so faithful and to us, mighty King and mighty Warrior. We bless you, our Father, in Mazik and Terrible. We kiriri ya Mazak and Terrible. We worship you, Rakorobori, Mama, Mama, Mazak and Terrible. We kiriri ya Mazak and Terrible, Mazik. Rakorobori ya Mazik and Terrible. We yokorobori Mazik and Terrible, Mazik and Terrible. I bless you, mighty God, mighty Father. Oh, to na semani asante to kwa beleza kwa Jehovah. To na kushukuru na mungu wetu. To na kuendua e baba wetu. To na kutukuza niye mtakatifu. To na kuendua niye mwenye zioto. Ora bozika tari mama mama bozika. We worship you, Jesus. Ora kora bori maziki. Ora mazaka. Ora kora bori maziki. Ora mazaka. We bless our God. We thank you for what you have given us. We bless you for carrying us up to this far.
hiyo ndivyo tumesema mgu wetu na baba yetu wewe haufananishwi na kidudu kingine wewe haufananishwi na miungu mingine wewe ndiye baba wetu na mgu wetu tunakupenda na tunakuifa baba yetu kwenyekea miguuni mwako bwana wewe uongeze bwana tunasema ni wewe unaweza tunaweza ni wewe tunasema ni wewe umetosha asante kwa mahali umetufikisha Tualika roho wako mtakatifu jioni ya leo. Neno nasi bwana wetu na Mungu wetu. Kwa maana hakuna kama wewe. Tuwapinga nguvu zote za giza. Tuwapinga uwezo wote wa kuzima. Tuwatangaza wewe ndiye utawala. Na kwa jina la Yesu tumeamini. God bless. Ewe. Ongezeke. Mimi. ya jioni ya leo kwa maana ametupatia nafasi ya kuja katika nyumba ya Bwana sio kila wakati tunakuanga na hiyo nafasi so nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana amenilinda na amenihifadhi haleluya kwa nini tuliokoka tuliokoka ili ufalme wa mbinguni Yesu aingie ndani yetu awe mwokozi ndani yetu na ule ufalme uonekane ndani yetu We were saved so that Jesus can be Lord in our lives and his kingdom should be manifested in our lives. So that is why tuliokoka Jesus is trying to conquer us. Anajaribu kutufanya sisi tumilikiwe na yeye so that he can be manifested. Hallelujah. So jioni ya leo nataka kushare na wewe 
ile kitu kimoja ambacho kinafanyika after wokovu hapa tuna insist mambo matatu katika wa church one salvation two baptism of the holy spirit hayo ndio mambo ambayo tuna insist hapa ubatizwe na maji na ubatizwe na roho number three, living a holy life katikati ya mambo mengine hallelujah every house has its emphasis kila nyumba iko na mambo ambayo inawekea mkazo hallelujah lakini sisi tunawekea mkazo ufalme wa mbinguni huo ni wokovu wa pili tunawekea mkazo kujazwa na roho mtakatifu na kubatizwa na maji watatu tunawekea mkazo mambo ya kuishi maisha ya kuteganishwa that is our emphasis hallelujah so leo ninataka kushare na wewe once you receive jesus unastahili ubadilike uwe kiumbe kipya na uwe wa Mungu and you become a peculiar person so leo nataka kushare na wewe kuhusu watu ambao wamemilikiwa na Mungu huwa peculiar people hallelujah hallelujah what do you mean by peculiar peculiar ina ina maanisha being beyond you sure being beyond you sure kuwa zaidi ya kawaida hallelujah that is the meaning of the word peculiar and in the bible the word peculiar imekutokea mara saba tu katika the old testament mara tano katika the new testament twice lakini katika greek ilikuwa ina mean ni kitu ambacho kimenunuliwa so something which have been acquired or bought is peculiar kama hiyo simu yako the word peculiar inamaanisha wakati ulienda dukani na ukaichukua ikakuwa yako it means it is peculiar so sio kila mtu hallelujah hallelujah so once own kila kile kitu ambacho ni cha mtu binafsi that's another meaning of the word peculiar chochote ambacho mtu anachukua na anasema this is my own that is peculiar if you are husband kama uko na bwana then that is a peculiar person to you kwa maana he is your own kama uko na wife is a peculiar person if you are a child you are a peculiar person kwa sababu una wewe ni mtu wa mtu fulani so that is the meaning of the word peculiar lakini ile meaning ambayo tunastahili kushika it means special hallelujah kitu ambacho ni special wapwani watasema kitu ambacho ni special something which is not common hallelujah so wakati tumeokolewa kuna attribute ama kuna kitu Mungu anatarajia katika maisha yetu tufanyike and that is to be peculiar hallelujah in the book of first peter chapter 2 verse 9 first peter chapter 2 verse 9 oh you are peculiar in Jesus mighty name. Ah. Uh, Petro wa pili mbili Mus, Petro wa kwanza mbili mstari wa tisa. Petro wa kwanza mbili mstari wa tisa. But you are chosen generation a loyal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that you should so forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light bali ninyi ni mzao mteule ukuhani wa kifalme taifa takatifu watu miliki wa Mungu you are umemilikiwa na Mungu hallelujah you have a title d and title d yako imeandikwa owned by god hallelujah na kwa nini we are peculiar ili mpate kuziga, kuzitangaza vaziri zake yeye aliyewaita mtoke gizani mkaingie katika nulu yake ya ajabu why are we peculiar ili tukatangazi fadhili zake yule ambaye alituita tutoke katika ngiza ili tuingie katika mwangaza wake so why are we special kwa sababu kuna wakati tulikuwa kwenye ngiza tukaitwa tutoke kwenye ngiza ili tukuje tukaitangazi 
ile nuru ama ule mwangaza that's why you should be different from other people who are in the darkness hallelujah so being peculiar number 1 in a mean you are a testimony hallelujah kuna wakati ulikuwa kwenye ngiza kuna wakati ulikuwa kwenye dhambi lakini ukaitwa you are called out of darkness hallelujah uliitwa kutoka kwa ngiza god called you out of darkness Mungu alituita kila mmoja wetu. This is the meaning of salvation. Tulikuwa tunaishi maisha ambayo sio ya kupendeza Mungu. Tulikuwa tunaishi kwenye giza. Lakini God called us out of his, out of darkness into a marvelous light. Kwa mwangaza ambao ni wa ajabu. Inamini nini? I'm peculiar because I'm studying in the light. Amen. Mimi ni mtu ambao nimemilikuwa na Mungu kwa maana mimi kuna wakati nilikuwa kwenye ngiza lakini nimetoka kwenye ngiza. Sasa matendo yangu, mambo yangu ni special kwa maana kuna wale bado wanaendelea kwenye ngiza, kuna wale ambao wanakaa kwenye ngiza but as for me I'm peculiar because I've been called out of darkness. That's why I have a testimony. Mungu anaokoa na anabadilisha watu. May you be peculiar from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yaani sisi ni watu ambao ni wa maana. We are so special. Hata kama kuna watu wanaishi kwenye giza hata wakati huu. Lakini sisi ni peculiar kulingana na Peter kwa sababu kuna wakati tulikuwa kwenye dhambi. Kuna wakati tulikuwa kwenye ngiza. Akatuita tutoke kwenye ngiza. Sasa tumesimama kwenye mwangaza. So we are peculiar because we are studying in the light. Hallelujah. Sio kusema mwangaza haiko, mwangaza haiko na inaendelea. But me and you we are peculiar kwa sababu tumeitwa kutoka kwa dha, kwa giza na tumesimama katika mwangaza. Sasa tunatangaza kuna mwangaza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you should be different from the people who are in darkness. Hii ndio sababu ambayo wewe na mimi tunastahili kuwa tofauti na wale watu bando wako kwenye Giza. Kwa mana, why are you special? Why are you why are you why are you uh, beyond normal? Kwa kawaida watu wanaishi kwenye ngiza. Lakini sisi na wewe Peter anatuambia we are peculiar sababu tumeitwa kutoka kwa ngiza tusimame kwenye mwangaza. Swali ni hili, are you still walking in darkness? Ikiwa bado mtu anatembea katika giza, yeye sio peculiar, he's not above beyond normal. Yeye ni mtu ambayo ni wa kawaida. So kwa kawaida watu hutembea katika giza. Lakini wale ambao ni peculiar wametoka kwenye ngiza, wameingia kwenye mwangaza. May you be peculiar from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you show the praises of him who called you. Uonyeshe sifa kwa yule ambaye alikuita, akakutoa kwenye ngiza, akakuleta kwenye mwangaza. Hallelujah. From today may you be visible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uonekane umetoka na umesimama katika mwangaza. May that be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Titus 2. Inasema nini? Oh. Rima shakara bada bada. Verse 14. Mm. Who gave himself for us? that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works he who gave himself for us so that he might redeem us from all iniquity ili atukoboe kwa maasi yote na kujisafisha watu wawe miriki wa yake mwenyewe wale walio na juhudi katika matendo mema the same thing Peter alisema Titus anaisrudia anasema alituita alijipatiana ye mwenyewe he gave himself so that he can redeem us sisi ndio tulikuwa tunastahili kukufa redemption means aliingia nafasi yake yetu Sisi ndio tunikuwa tunastahili kukufa, kusurubishwa, 
lakini yeye akaenda msalabani na alipoenda msalabani alienda pamoja na sisi akatukomboa alitukomboa kwa nini kwa uovu wote so we are not supposed to live in iniquity ili atushafishe so ule msalaba ulinisafisha mimi na kunifanya a peculiar person hey hallelujah na kwa nini niko peculiar because i'm zealous for good works niko na juhudi katika matendo mema so why are you peculiar kwa sababu you are supposed to be zealous of good works mtu ambaye ni special kuna matendo ambayo inastahili kuwa inaonyesha good works amen kwa kawaida binadamu ni wabaya hata bila mambo yoyote hata bila ma- ma- hallelujah we are like milk hizi ni kama maziwa maziwa ukiweka tu pale itaharibika yenyewe bila hata mambo mengi hata hakuna mtu ameiguza by nature we are, we are we are not good sisi ni waovu sisi ni watu ambao hawastahili ndani yetu tuko na wasi we, are, we have iniquity within us that's why we are peculiar kwa sababu alituita akatukomboa haleluya kutoka kwa uovu akatuosha ili tuweze kutenda matendo mema so jana ninaweza kuwa mimi nilikuwa mtu mbaya lakini nikiingia kwa msalaba i become peculiar i can do good works may that be your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ kwa nini tunawekelea watu mikono na wanapona sio kwa sababu ya mamegi kwa sababu alituokoa alitukomboa akaondoa ule uovu tulikuwa nao akatusafisha ili tufanye mambo mazuri sio kwa sababu sisi ni watakatifu haleluya we became special because of redemption ule msalamba ulitufanya tuwe watu ambao tumemilikiwa na Mungu nikaingiana na Yesu na Yesu akaingia ndani yangu kwa hivyo ninaweza tenda matendo mema because I'm peculiar haleluya otherwise I'm a normal person who can be evil like any other i can be like your cousin or like your nephew who is evil haleluya we can be like your friends who are evil lakini kwa sababu ya we are peculiar sisi ni watu ambao wamemilikiwa para msalabani kuna nafasi uovu wetu ulisafishwa that's why we can do good works haleluya ndipoza tunaweza bariki watu ndipoza tunaweza simama na watu haleluya amen zealous of good works kwa hivyo mtu ambaye sio special hawezi fanya mambo hawezi fanya <laughs> matendo mazuri kuna mtu alikuja kwa ofisi akaniuliza how are you able to sit here kutoka saa ine mpaka saa 11 na unasikiza watu kwani haunanga shida haya nikamuuliza ni nani binadamu akuagi na shida nikamwambia let me tell you one of my problem this is one of my problem haleluya akaniuliza na wakati huo wote unaniombeanga unakuaga na hii shida ninamwambia hii shida nimekuwa nayo for a long time hata nimeizoea bwana asifiwe but because of the peculiarity haleluya kwa sababu ya kuwa special kuwa above normal shida zile tuko nazo sio shida kwa sababu Mungu ametuita to be zealous of good works haleluya lakini binadamu wale wengine wanaangalia shida zao wale watu wa kawaida wana siasa wanaangalia shida zao watu wa kijiji tenu wanaangalia shida zao lakini wale ambao wamekobrewa na Yesu Kristo they are zealous of good works because they are peculiar people anaweza patia wewe unga aachwe bila ya kesho sio kwa sababu yako na mingi kwa sababu he has been zealously affected by peculiarity of Jesus Christ kuna kitu kimemguza kimemfanya awe beyond normal may you be zealous of good works because of being peculiar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hatuwezi matendo mazuri bila kuwa watu ambao ni special that is why we are special hallelujah Amen. Yesu akitoka ndani yetu utajua sisi ni akina nani. 
But when Jesus has conquered us, he has redeemed us. That's why we are special. That's why we can sit here for many hours. Na mungu wa ananena juu yetu. Na tunasikia sauti yake. Sio kwa sababu sisi ni wazuri, but because of redemption. That's why zealous of good works. Kuna matendo mema. Tuko na juhudi ya matendo mema. Na tuangari wale ambao walifanya vibaya. Hatuangari wale ambao hawaku, hawaku respond vizuri. Hatuangari kure ambapo walituangusha. Tunaangalia we are zealously of good works. Tuko na juhudi za matendo mema. Hata tukisimama na mtu atuangushe. We have no problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata tukisimama watu wavuti no. We have no problem. We count the yes. Na tunasema this yes. Zinda nifanya niendele. Katika jina la yes Christo. Zealous of good works. Because we are peculiar. Hatu kufi moyo. Hallelujah. Number three. Tunamalizia. Exodus. 19. Verse 5. Oh. Shintala da 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 da. Exodus 19 verse 5 Peculiar Watu ambao wamemilikiwa na mungu Adu wagule ni muadhani That's what the meaning of peculiar Now therefore If you obey my voice indeed And keep my covenant Then you shall be a peculiar treasure And to me Above all people For all the earth Is mine Sasa basi Ikiwa mtati sauti yangu kweri Na kulishika agano langu Hapa dipo nitakuwa Tunu kwangu Kuliko makabila Yote yote ya watu Mana dunia yote Pia ni mari yangu A peculiar Treasure Hallelujah Sisi siyo tu Kazi mzuri tunafanya Why are you special? And why am I special? Bere ya macho ya mungu. Kwa mimi ni miliki. Ama treasure before God. Mimi ni kitu cha maana sana. Amen. I'm something which is variable before God. I'm a peculiar treasure. Na kwa nini ninakuwa peculiar treasure? Kwa sababu kuya mambo mawiri. Kwa sababu ya kusikia. Sauti yake. Na kuiti. If you obey my voice and keep my covenant wale wa wengine wakitumwa hawaendi lakini mimi na wewe tukitumwa it makes us peculiar number 3 why are you peculiar because of obeying the voice of god and keeping the commandments kwa nini wewe ni mtu ambaye sio wa kawaida why are you special it is because you hear the voice and obey Tofauti ya watu ni hii moja. Kila mtu anazugumziwa na mungu. Most of the time God speaks to us. But very few people obey the voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you think it is easy? Unaomba, unaomba na mungu na kwabia. For the next days. Na kwabia mpaka lini. I want you to stand in my presence. Simama bere yangu kwa maombi. Kutoka sahi mpaka sahi. Na usiulise swari. It's not easy to obey. Hallelujah. Wakati mwingine umepikiwa <laughs> umepikiwa mokimo. Si mnajua mokimo. Na mokimo inakaanga kwa tubu. Is it true? So ukiamka saa saba unasikia jahe moja hapa igine hapa. Can you pray? <laughs> so saa hiyo unasema ah, nimechoka sita simama bele ya boana. Ada kama ulisikia sauti Unajaribu kuleta sa, sa, sababu It's not always Watu wanapata nafasi ya kulara mapema Ili waamke mapema Sometime unana satano But sasaba lazima usimame So we always have a reason not to obey Sazigine kumenyesha Sazigine mvua iko Sazigine stima inapotea Hallelujah Amen Sazigine unapita vale unakuja kwa maombi Unasikia watu unakuita Watchman Sasa unauliza the soldier, soldier. <laughs> I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Lakini kwa sababu ulisikia sauti and you obey and you are commanded 
That's why you become peculiar. Ile sauti umesikia ndio inakufanya uwe special. Kama Mungu amekuzungumzia na umefanya na umetii, you become special to God. Wale wengine wote wamesikia lakini hawajatii. Wengine wamesema wacha ningojee next year. Wacha ningojee mwezi unakuja. I cannot do this. It is so difficult for me. Lakini anawaambia kama mtasikia sauti yangu na mpi agano langu na nyinyi you be peculiar people, you be treasure. Na nini nafanya mtu ajulikane ya kuwa yeye ni treasure? Hallelujah. You be above all people. Anybody who hear God is above no ordinary people. Mtieta baya nasikianga sauti ya Mungu anakuanga juu ya watu wale wengine wote. Akawaambia, "Why are you peculiar? Because I'm going to keep to make you to be above all the other people." So, kuna njia ya kuinuliwa. When you become special to God, he lifts you above all the other people. Sauti ya Mungu ambayo tunasikia inatufanya tuwe special na inatufanya tuinuliwe kuliko wale wengine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni vibaya sana tuwe tunakaa hivi, hatujui kutaenda na muda gani. But the voice of God makes you higher. May you hear God from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mtu yule anasikianga sauti hana hana uoga wa kesho. Tayari Mungu amemzungumzia na wame na kuna kitu wameandama na kuna agano wakonana na Mungu la 2024. So I cannot fear 2024. Kabla sijaingia 2024, tulitavuta uso wa Mungu na akanena I have a covenant with him. Hallelujah. Mimi ni shareholder katika ufalme wa mbinguni. <laughs> Niko na share. Hallelujah. So mimi sio wapi kusema mimi ni shareholder katika upande wa mbinguni na niko na kope ya covenant na Mungu wangu kuna yale mambo aliniambia nikifanya na yatanitedea we have a covenant with God I've heard his voice kuna kile nimempatia na kuna kile ameniahidi that's why I'm peculiar I'm special kuna sauti ambayo nimesikia kuna mahali siwezi ingia because I'm under command kuna watu siwezi tebea na wao because I'm under command. Anybody who God does not like, he's not my friend. Mtu yeyote ambaye Mungu hampendi hawezi kuwa rafiki yangu. Because I'm a, I'm a peculiar person. Kile nina mahali ninakaa, vile ninafanya I'm under command. Mbona asifiwe? That's why I'm special. Na amesema nini? You be above all the other nations. Kwa nini familia yenu iko kama kawaida kwa sababu hamna 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 torati kutoka kwa Mungu you can you have not secured a covenant with God Hakuna kitu mmesikizana na Mungu na hakuna kitu ambacho kinakufanya uwe special Eh hey. Alimwambia Elizabeth yule mtoto Alimwambia Zakaria yule mtoto ambaye anabebwa na 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 mke wako Elizabeth is a special person Asikunywe nini Defy. Tinu, ni, 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 He's a special person. Na akaambiwa huyo mtoto atakuwa na jazz, amejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu right from the mother's womb. Kulikuwa na condition. Ili huyu mtoto awe special, naye mama kuna kitu hataguza. Mama ya Samson, wife ya Manoa aliambiwa, huyu mtoto usikunywe defy ama kitu kingine chochote. Kwa maana huyu ni mnazari. <laughs> Hallelujah. Special people have a covenant with God. May you be one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mtu yote unaona akifanya kitu katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Mtu yote unaona wakiadamana na Mungu, they have a covenant. Kuna mambo wamesikizana na yeye. They are special. Kuna mambo hawafanyi kawaida. Hallelujah. So if you want to be peculiar treasure, lazima usikie sauti na utii ndio uwe juu. May that be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May that be your portion. May you become a peculiar treasure. Yaani Mungu hawezi ruhusu uguzwe wewe ni kitu chake cha maana. Hallelujah. Kuna mtu umeiona amekuja sadi na taitodi hapa. Atiko kwa kabeti. Ati akisoma Bible, anafugua Bible na taitodi kwa hapo. Kwa nini watu watebeaki na taitodi zao? Umejiuliza kwa nini? Si mko na taito? 
Kwa nini ukuja kinayo sadi? Ama upatie watoto wa Eden nayo shule wakaonyesha wale wengine hata nyimbo yenunua ama roho buku ya gari. Kwa sababu ni vitu ambazo ni pressure. Ni vitu ambazo zina fichwa ziko na dhamana. Na ikiguzwa. <laughs> Ebu ada uhamise yenu kidogo tu. Mahali iko. Uone hata mzee bila kuabiwa. Akiingia kwa nyumba atajua eh hey, title ni jeheru wa ikalanga. Kwa sababu kuna kuna attachment ya pressure. <laughs> kuna attachment ya dress hata kama haujui iko na kuambia ukiingia tu kwa nyumba utasikia kuna kitu kimehamishwa kutoka mahali kina kuanga why because it's a treasure it's a special thing mbona asubuhi haleluya lakini kuja kwa kuombe hotpot hata unaweza kaa nayo 3 months si, ni sijue hata sijua kiza kwetu zinakaa na mradi <laughs> ama sahani ati umepatiwa sahani ati ati ni kitu kubwa ati unikute niko kwako nimekuja kuangalia ndani ile rahe tu pia it's not a treasure it's a common thing nataka wewe uwe mkristo ambaye ni peculiar you are special before god ukiwa umepotea mungu anakutafuta anasema wiki hii hatuje kutana na my daughter where is he because you are special anajua mahali uko hata ukipata kwa matatu una force mungu akuje kwa hiyo matatu kwa sababu you are treasure you are title d you are a rock book in the kingdom wacha kuwa sahani katika kingdom wacha kuwa thamos katika kingdom haleluya nikisikia thamos imevujika it's not a big issue it's not a big issue hata hakuna budget ita change ama budget inaanza change thamos ki haleluya amen <laughs> haleluya lakini sikia ngari imegongwa kila mtu kwa nyumba ako na huzuni a treasure imefanya nini imeguzwa that is how you are may you become special before the eyes of god in the mighty name of jesus christ may you be a peculiar person wao utio igoro le kaikoroka ukiguzwa bingu inakuja ina hata bila eh hey, haleluya where you are pecu- you are a treasure Mungu anauliza ni nani huyo ameguza huyo mtu wangu he's a special person huyo niwe ujiguara na huyo niwe twina kirano this is the this is the person who hear my voice and we have a covenant with him haleluya kutia goige touch me i say <laughs> haleluya may you be peculiar from today in the mighty name of jesus christ may you be special in the eyes of god in the mighty name of jesus christ Yaani kuna watu na watu kwa are those special in the eyes of God. <laughs> eh? Kuna watu special. Haleluya. Guza mlima wa Yesu uone. Haleluya. Ana dio watu wengine maombi yao inajibiwa haraka kuliko wale wengine. Kwa sababu they are special. Wakilia Mungu anauliza, "Eh, nikikirakalia." Lakini kuna mwingine lazima alie alie wiki moja before big ikuje. Wewe Mungu kuna watu Mungu anasaidiaga tu kwa sababu they are children. Ni watoto tu anasema eh hey, ni mali na mono. Lakini kuna wengine tu macho kuwa mekudu kidogo. Nauliza what is wrong with you? Watoto wote sio the same hata katika familia. Kuna mwingine analia na ambiwa go wewe wa kile. Kuna mwingine anasema nimekatwa na ambiwa ah Wachana. Lakini kuna kingine kakiguzwa. Baba anauliza mtoto wako wapi? Amshu ya kuje. Kwani hao wengine sio watoto? Special treasure. Hallelujah. Na hata kwako kuna mtoto ambaye mkitaka kitu lazima mmtume. <laughs> Huyo die treasure. Chunga yeye, msikosane na yeye. Eh, hey, hallelujah. Mimi nataka kuwa peculiar. I want to be special in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Na ukiwa special, you are above all the other people. Hallelujah. Shanta karabarabada. Oh, Deuteronomy 14 verse 2. Tunamalizia. Shindi la 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 la. Oh. Deuteronomy 14 verse 2. Kubukubula torati kumina ina bili. For you are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord has chosen you to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations are, that are upon the earth kwa kuwa utaifa takatifu kwa bwana mungu wako bwana amekuchagua 
uh, kuwa watu wake hasa kuliko mataifa yote yaliyo juu ya uso wa nchi haleluya so why are you peculiar because you are chosen watu wanapendanga kuchaguliwa acha ni ajeni na hiyo maneno Deuteronomy 14 verse 2 The Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nation that are upon the earth. Why are you special? Because you are chosen. Hallelujah. Wakati naunganisha harusi, wakiingia pale, wanakuanga Miss na Miss. Wacha tuseme juu ya msichana na kuaga mi Miss. Miss inaandika kwaje M I double S Kumis ni kufanya nini? Kusema wewe ni miss ni kusema wewe umekosa. Si ndio ukweli? Ama ni mini what do you mean by you miss? You lack, yeah, you miss the target. <laughs> Hallelujah. Officially tunawaitanga spinister na bachara. Hizo ndizo title. Wakiingia pale wanakuanga spinister na mwingine anakuanga bachara. But after kuunganishwa ana assume a good good name haitwi missis tunaondoa i na s moja tunaweka r anakuanga missis so mtu wa mister <laughs> anaitanishwa na mister why status hizo zimechange kwa nini because you are chosen when somebody chooses you he gives you his name wakati mtu anakuchagua anakupatia nga jina yake. Mungu anasema, nimewachagua. That's why you are special. Na kwa sababu hiyo, you are above all the other nation. Wewe sio wa kawaida because you are chosen. May you be chosen from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Ni de de ido ni kai monene. Hallelujah. 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 Ni de de ido ni kai monene. Unajua kuna watu wanaweza kukwambia wanakupenda. Dio ni upendo. Ay, lakini haijafika <laughs> haijafika mahali mzuri. Sasa so, mtu wako na kamkokoteni kake ni kazuri. Lakini kupendwa na mtu wa mkokoteni ni upendo mzuri. Lakini Hauna wait. Hallelujah. Lakini MC akikwambia anakupenda, anakama kuna mambo mengi. So kupendwa na Mungu na kuchaguliwa na Mungu is the one of the best thing. Hallelujah. We have been chosen. Na mimi sijuagi mtu ana Mungu anaangalia gani nini akichagua watu. Kwa sababu haangalii kuongea vizuri sio wale watu wanajua kujipanga vizuri sometimes god choose funny people and this is the amazing thing about god especially with the anointing inapatianga watu ambao you cannot tell why god has chosen them lakini is because he want them to be special once you are chosen you become special may the lord choose you in the mighty name of jesus christ kwa nini wewe ni mtu special kwa sababu mungu amekuchagua Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Last day, Deuteronomy 26, verse 18. Oh, Shantala, bara, bara, bara. Deuteronomy 26, it's a good one. Oh, mimi ni mtu special. That's why I cannot do what I, I want. And the Lord has avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people naye mbona amekuangama hivi leo kuwa taifa iliyotengwa iwe yake yeye as he has promised thee that you should keep all his commandment kama alivyokuahidi kuwa ya kupasa kushika maagizo yake yote and to make thee high above all the nation which he made in praise in name in honor that you may be a holy people and to the Lord thy God as he has spoken. Kwa nini uko special? Kwa sababu there is a promise. 
for you to be special. Hallelujah. Ni agano, ni ahadi yaki, ya kuwa nataka tuwe watu special. Hallelujah. So it's the promise of the Lord. Tukikuja kwake, we shall be special. Why are you pe- Kwa nini sisi ni watu wabawa metengwa? Rabu ni ahadi yaki. Na nataka tu, tuweke amri zake. So what am I saying? Inchi yetu kona shida sana because we don't have peculiar people. We don't have special people. Kanisa limechanganyika, liko na wasi, liko na dhambi because people watu wamekata kuwa special. Watu wamekata kuwa beyond normal. Wamekata kutoka mambo ya kawaida, waingie mambo ambayo sio ya kawaida. But from today we have decided in this place that we shall be the chosen and we shall be special in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sita angalia wale wengine wanafanya nini? Ni mimi ameniita so that I can be peculiar. As we pray in the book of John 15 verse 16, what did Jesus say about choosing his people? Rama jika da 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 da. Rimba mama jika da 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 da. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruits and your fruits shall remain that whatever you shall ask of of the father in my name he may give it you he may give it you sio nyinyi mlinichagua mimi bali ni mimi niliwachagua nyinyi nami mkawekwa mwende mkazae matuda Tudayenu ya pate kuka Iri kwamba rolote Mulobao Muliobaro baba Kwa jina langu Awape Why are you peculiar For you For your prayers to be answered Only special people They get answers to their prayer Ame wachagua Ame tuchagua Sio sisi tunimchagua Akatueka wakufu Ili Tuende tukazae matunda Tukimaliza kuzae matunda That's why we are special to him Kuna kitu wanatarajia mwaka huu umfanyie There is expectation from him Once ukifanya vile amataka Ame kuahidi Alikuchagua Ukazae matunda Na matunda bayo ni ya kudumu Na ukimaliza na kuzae matunda bayo ni ya kudumu Chochote ambacho utauliza Utapewa That's a promise for peculiar people. Wana watu ambao ni wamejitenga. Wa wamejitenga ili wakazae matunda. Na chochote ambacho wataomba, watatendewa. So may you be peculiar from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Si tutoke maisha ya kawaida, wa kristo wa kawaida, kanisa la kawaida, maombi ya kawaida, kuongea kwa kawaida, mamba bao ni ya kawaida. May we go to be special kwa mana ame Twitter iri atuinue and once ukikuja ukiingia na uwe special ah na usikie vile anakuambia anakuinua above all the nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so how are we getting uh, success how are we getting breakthrough sisi tunainua namna gani when you become special in his eyes anakuinua kwa sababu wewe ni kitu chake cha maana hallelujah so you are peculiar people. Inyi ni watu amba ametununua ituwe watu tofauti. Tusijitaganye na dunia na tusifanyane na dunia tujue tukona mungu ambaya nataka tuwe different. We should be different from the world. Vile wanafanya mambo yao vile wanatenda mambo yao vile wanaka we should be different and that is what God has called us to be peculiar people. Kwa mana sisi ni wake na sisi ametumiriki na ametununua na kuna mamba atahiri kuguza na kuandamana nae kwa mana yeye mwenyewe ametuchagua hana akamwambia eri akamwambia mungu ndiyo mimi ni tasa lakini najua ni metembelewa na kile yule mtoto ambaya nitapatiwa sitakaa na ye kwangu na mimi nitampeana awe katika nyumba ya boana siku zake zote kwa mana ni mejua Sija barikiwa bule Nime barikiwa ili nijaze na fasi Na mimi nimechaguliwa Niwe mama ya nabi 
mtu ambaye atasimamisha neno la Mungu wakati wake wote i know my child ambaye ninaleta he's a special one hallelujah angalia yule ambaye alipatianwa ndiye alikuwa samweli our father of the prophets in the mighty name of jesus christ wakati wakati mamake msa alimzaa alijua this is a special child huyu sio mtoto wa kawaida akamficha miezi tatu ha hallelujah kwa maana this is a special the bible says akaangalia akaona this is not as this is not an ordinary child this is a special child akamficha miezi tatu mpaka akapatikana akalelewa na akakuja kukomboa Israeli why because he was a special person kwa nini dunia hii iko na shida mingi sababu tumekubali kufanana na dunia tumekubali kufanya vile dunia inafanya tumekubali kuiba wibo wa dunia tumekubali kufanya vile we are just like the world that's why we are suffering the way they are suffering but god has called us to be peculiar people na yeye ametuita ijue watu wake katika jina la Yesu kuhambudiwa na kuheshimiwa ni wewe Mungu wakupewa sifa na
Asanta kwa kutumiriki jioni ya jema. Asanta kwa kutudunua jioni jema bwana. Sisi ni wako bwana wetu. We are peculiar treasure in your eyes. Thank you because we are peculiar people. Thank for choosing us oh our Lord Jesus. Thank for redeeming us and washing us. Thank for making us to be zealous of good works. Oh kuna juhudi za kazi nzuri bwana. Asante kwa kutupenda baba yetu. Tunatangaza we are not ordinary anymore. We are special in your eyes my father. Thank for your blessing oh Lord. Thank for choosing us our father. Ni asante bwana wetu kwa neno lako chini ya ni watu wako bwana adamana nasi bwana wetu na mungu wetu kunyenyekea miguuni mwako bwana ili wewe bwana uongezeke na kwako bwana wewe uongezeke katika maisha yetu sisi baba tukaweze kukujua we declare that you are special and you are our father hatutafanana na dunia tena hatutafanana na watu tena tunatamani kufanana na wewe Yesu Kristo kwa maana umetumiriki kutoka siku ya leo asante kwa neno lako baba yetu na mungu wetu naombea watu wako wakiondoka nyesha mkono wako i cover them with the blood of jesus they are special unto you our father and our god we declare the covering of the blood of jesus i rebuke premature death i rebuke sudden sickness i cancel all the demonic plan and demonic attacks go and enjoy favor may you be special in the eyes of the lord may your prayer be answered in the name of jesus christ you namba amekuchagua kwa kazi nzuri kazi hiyo ikaendelea katika maisha yako thank you our father and our lord in jesus name we pray and believe baba tuombea sadaka ya siku ya leo tunapeana mara 30 mara 60 na mara 100 kwa ni wewe baba umetumaliza katika jina la Yesu tumeamini shuari goodness and mercy sign and wonders and miracles so follow us all the days of our life be shown in the house of the lord forever amen yes. god bless you kesho tuko na maombi kuanzia saa 11 Bakasix, let us meet there.